Hello and welcome to another Diamond Guitar Tip with me, Darren White from Guitars Are Heart. Um, this is quite a biggie. When you're playing the guitar, try to keep your thumb from creeping over. I know it's kind of natural to do that, but what you end up then doing is playing the guitar kind of like a club and it kind of encourages you to, to grip too hard. What you should have in, instead is your thumb in the centre of the back of the neck. And the reason it's a good idea to do that is it's better technique. It opens your hand out and kind of makes it bigger, but also puts the right pressure in the right place. Because you'll see your guitar heroes do that. Um, and sometimes even play chords with their, with their, using their thumb. But that's only because as they first learned the correct and proper technique. And so can you. Thank you. Bye now. Here's another diamond tip from Guitars Are Hard. Play simplified versions of chords. I'm forming the open C major here, which is quite tricky to get to I find sometimes. But do you need all these notes? As we know, a major chord is made up of the root, the C, the third and the fifth. Well, in that case, these are C, E, open G, C, open E. But what's happening there is that we've got C, E, G, third, we've got the root, the third and the fifth. The rest of it's just repeated. So we could just play the three notes and we get the same chord, which is a lot easier if, say, you're coming from the A. If you're coming from, say, the D. Make life simple for yourself. Here's another diamond tip from Guitars Are Hard. Remember to play with your fingertips uh, and not other parts. And also, play till your fingers bleed sounds cool, but it's not something you want to do. What might happen is, because that finger's used for virtually every, every chord, you might find it gets too painful. Well, there's nothing to stop you moving along and using the next two fingers to give that one a bit of a rest. Don't ignore pain especially any nerve or muscular or tendon pain. Hi, another diamond tip here from Guitars Are Hard. Chord diagrams that show you which fingers to put on which strings aren't written in stone. You can do what you want. So while this is seen as an A major, you don't have to use those three fingers. I've seen lots of people who bar two strings of one and then play uh, another finger like this. I play it as a bar of the whole thing. Whatever gets you to the next chord fastest. Here's another diamond tip. Always keep your right hand moving. Don't wait until your left hand has formed the chords. People won't notice if you get it a bit wrong first time. They'll think it's some sort of neat transition. But they will notice if you stop in the middle of the rhythm and wait for your fingers to form the chord. So just keep that hand moving. Here's another diamond tip from Guitars Are Hard. When you're first learning something, be it a chord or a chord progression or a new song or a new technique, start very slowly. Only speed up, only move on when you've got the technique right. Remember, you've got it right when you can no longer get it wrong, not the first time you get it right. Keep the technique perfect as you speed up. So you go from... to that's the way you learn a song here's another diamond tip from Guitars Are Hard. Let me show you some bad technique that I do all the time, and it is not anchoring your pick hand on the guitar body or on the scratch plate. So you'll see me do this all the time. So especially when I'm playing solo, you'll often see me 
with my with one or more fingers on the guitar body like this. That's all wrong. What you should be doing is having that completely separate so you can go from picking to, to strumming a guitar. So what you should be doing is much more hand wasn't on a guitar at all. Great to learn songs by playing along with the records, but if there's tricky bits or bits you just can't get, it's nothing wrong with playing those over and over again until you get them. So I'm learning a song where the verse goes like this. Fine, I can play that. Then every other line, it goes into this little riff like this. Which again, I can play separately, but I have trouble when I put them together. So there's nothing wrong with me doing this endlessly till I get it right. I'm sure you get the idea from that. Same can be said for solos. Just keep going and going until you've got them, so you can't get them wrong. Here's another diamond guitar tip from Guitars Are Hard. You might not be at this stage yet because it's pretty uh, intermediate, but when you're barring, that is holding down lots or most strings, maybe an F or maybe a B, or, or even mini ones in that, I often kind of bar an A. One of the things to bear in mind is don't use the softest part of your finger, especially not the crease in the, uh, in the joint. What you'd actually need to do is use the hardest part on the side you'll be able to play for a lot longer until the pain stops you. I'm in love with this guitar. Hi, here's another diamond guitar tip from Guitars Are Hard. When you first start playing, you might start with bass lines. Then you might move on to well-known but simple riffs. But sooner or later, you need to move on to whole songs because those party tricks are just that. They're party tricks. You need to learn something all the way through, but not just anything, something you're passionate about, something you really love, something you've always wanted to learn to play. With the exception of one or two things, when no one ever expects you to play it all the way through, like this. Mm -hmm. 